we discussed uh, several uh, active substances for approval for silver substances. Silver is used as a, as a disinfectant. Uh, for example, it is used uh, in air conditioners, in floors which can be treated with, uh, with silver. It can be used to preserve, for example, textiles, other plastics like shower curtains, to prevent the mold, for example, for a shower curtain. And the risk can come from uh, several what we call uh, exposure routes. For example, you wear your, your piece of textile, your underwear, your t-shirt, your sports t-shirt uh, in most cases, which are treated with silver. And then by sweating, the silver is released from the textile and you can be exposed to it. The same can be for, uh, for example, a child putting a piece of textile in his or her mouth, and then there can be exposure via what we call the oral route. Not ever all members were in favor because there is still the possibility, they think, to refine the risk. But other members were convinced that we need to put these restrictions in place. And in the end, we had to take a vote. And there was a narrow majority of putting in place these uh, restrictions which were proposed by uh, Sweden. The next step is normally that we uh, submit our opinion which we adopt uh, to the Commission, where the Commission will take a decision in what is called the Standing Committee, where they vote on the proposal together with the, uh, with the Member States. In this case we cannot do it because the uh, properties of the silver uh, substances have not been assessed with respect to their endocrine disrupting properties. That still needs to be done. We do not know at the moment how much time this will take, but after that has been done, uh, we will adopt the opinions and then we will send them to the Commission and they will take a decision on these uh, four silver substances.